Hey everybody, a kind hello from the northeast of the United States. It's 11.15 a.m. Eastern Time Zone. And I'm sorry, I, I haven't done anything in a while. I've been just tatty under the weather. So you'll have to excuse my fingernails too because I've been out gardening so I look a, a little riny. So I read the comments and there's a lot a lot of comments and I appreciate them all good bad or indifferent everybody gets to say their piece which is awesome a lot of comments were talking about copper you need you need copper you have to have copper it's no good if it doesn't have copper so I got on Amazon of all places because it's the only place I could really find it and and get a source on it so I ordered some man this stuff is the sheet of it is huge it's 78 inches long by something wide I'll read the description here in a minute and other people were asking me they say hey how do you know that you've got continuity if you can't hear well if I touch these two probes together I wonder if you can see this I don't so this is made for the deaf people over here on this particular voltmeter there's a little musical note that says that yep you've got continuity so I don't have to hear it I can see it so which is pretty cool helps me out a lot anyway I did test the continuity on this on this fabric and it works probably should show it to you paper thin man maybe a little bit less than paper thin anyway this is it nice pretty looking stuff my god it is unbelievably thin but uh, hey I don't I don't know what you need double it up triple it up quadruple it up do whatever you need to do I guess so let me tell you what it is and it's made by Lou Ghoul <laughs> L-O-O-G-O-O-L on Amazon and I've looked at all of them on there people hate it they love it it works it doesn't work and it's a copper copper fabric blocking RFID RF reduce EMF EMI protection conductive fabric anti-radiation military grade shielding fabric 78 inches by 43 inches in the gold color Woo. so that's enough so if you happen to putch it you've got enough left to do a lot more so it's 20% copper, nickel, and 80% polyester. All of them had polyester, man. All of them. Uh, I guess that's just the, the carrying fabric. So I just had that down on my on my my pad. So anyway, when I tried this, I put this on bare, and what happened when I put the lid on was in the corners. I'd get a, a little rip. It's not that side, it's this side. And if you've got a, a little rip in it there, there's no bueno. I don't think anyway. I'd rather rather have it perfect. So what I did was I put it back on and then I put a piece of aluminum foil on it. And that way you can make a ridge all around it. There's we did before with the other other videos what happens there when you put the cover on it kind of squinches it this way so it's got room to move and it won't tear so I did put this one on and underneath it is our lovely gold colored RFID EMI whatever stuff that uh, they call it and I put the top on and I cinched it down and it worked so and on the inside you can see here that it made a nice solid crease solid no gaps no nothing all the way around it no no rips in the corners at all so I'm very happy about that so apparently you can add it and actually it might be useful I don't know so not an expert on it but it uh, does pass the mission darkness so EMP test 
So I'll reiterate this one. It's free. If you go to Google Play Store, Android Play Store, whatever, what is it? Yeah, Play Store, I don't know. I don't like to watch that crap anyway. You can download this thing for free, and it's a test. You put it on your cell phone, you put it on your pad, your Android, or whatever you've got. You start it up, you plop it in there, cover it up, and then after 30 seconds or 45 seconds, you take it out, and it tells you either you pa it passed or it failed. And so this, this one passed. So, well, it passed with the aluminum foil on it. I haven't tried it with the copper, but I don't see any reason why, why it wouldn't. So we've got lots of, they're both conductive. They're touching each other tightly all along the sanded rim. And I also saw that I probably neglected to mention that you have to line your can with cardboard. So I use mine that stuff that has little air spaces in it, kind of like a mesh. Is that any good? Uh, don't test me on it because I don't really know. So you got to have enough enough room to be able to make a place to uh, scrunch your aluminum foil. So there there you have it. So that's it. That's pretty much it. What else? This is going to be short. I've got an awful lot going on. When you get old, your battery deteriorates, and you end up having some some things pop up that you didn't didn't expect. So I don't know if this is going to be my last video or not, but I'm not going to be on the air for probably quite a while. Maybe not again. So I guess we'll have to wait wait and see. I'll have to wait and see anyway. So, but I. I'd like to leave you with something. I'm so old, I've outlived everybody, got nobody to share stories with, but I want to talk about the United States of America really quick, and I want to talk, talk about what's going on today, today, tomorrow, yesterday, when Joe Biden became president. So I was hoping he was going to do a really good job. I don't vote for anybody anymore. It doesn't make any, any difference. So it's uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's already, well, as of the last election and the one before that, the, it's a given. But anyway, so Marxism, communism, wokeism, all, all these isms are out there. So, and I've seen this, this firsthand. When Vietnam got over, a lot of guys looked at each other and said, this is all we know how to do. This is it. This is all we know. We're young. And uh, so we learned what we, we learned. So being taught what we had to, had to do, what was expected of us, you know, go into a foreign country and, and kill very nice, innocent people. But anyway, after Vietnam, there was Rhodesia. And they were paying for, I, I use a very, I call it, like to cut, use the word contractors, but I think a better word would probably be mercenaries. So you signed your paper, you shuffled off the Ro Rhodesia, and they issued you a rifle, an L1A1, and 308 caliber. It's a kind of a bastard cousin of an FN, FAL. So there were two different ones. One, if it was Belgian, it was fully auto. You could, it had a selector on it. You could go full rock and roll, full auto. But if it was a British-made one, that it was only in semi-automatic. And I like the British one because if you fire a 308 on rock and roll, uh, you're going to be shooting birds by the time you, you let go of the trigger. But anyway, what was happening is the Brits were, were running the country. It was... Uh, Oh, I just, what the hell, a colonial, I guess. And the people wanted to take it back. Well, it's surrounded by Angola and Mozambique, uh, Zimbabwe. No, not Zimbabwe. I don't remember. Anyway, what the hell? It's way, way the hell. Long time ago for me. It started in 63, ended in 79. And we lost, bigly. And communists take over. They were coming back in with the same thing, build back better, and we want it for the people, by the people, of the people, almost like the Declaration of Independence. But there were two guys that were there that wanted power, and you've probably heard this name before, and it's Robert Mugabe. 
And the other one, I think, if I remember right, his name was Zuna. He didn't last long. Robert Mugabe got 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 full full power, and it was no longer Rhodesia; it became Zimbabwe. And Robert Mugabe decided that if he didn't like you, he'd just just kill you. And he wiped out a heck of a lot of his own people. A lot. He became very rich, very powerful in Zimbabwe. Uh, too bad it didn't stay Rhodesia. They were doing well. And he didn't build back better at all. So everything went down full dictatorship. And you had Cubans coming in to fight for him. You had uh, Angolans. Uh, people from Mozambique. There were lots of lots of uh, people that wanted to to take take this over. But anyway, I see it happening here in the United States of America. You've got all the isms. You've got communism. You've got wokeism. Uh, it's, it's the exact same thing that was happening over there. Your isms. All these isms. And, you know, racism was in there to boot. Oh, damn the white people, damn the black people, damn this. I mean, if you didn't think the same at all, and you had it shoved in your face a lot, then you were on the wrong side of everything. But anyway, don't let that happen here. Don't let that happen here. And it's well, 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 well on, on the way. So I actually read this morning that there's a new edict out by Presidente, and I call him Potato Head, that if you get a mortgage and you have a really good credit score, you've got $500 a year that goes to people that don't have a good credit score to help them. So you get penalized by having a good credit score. So that's, non that's socialism, pure and simple. That's socialism. But anyway, I'm really not that much into politics. I'm too old to do that shit. So... I remember one time I was over overseas and I broke my arm in two places. I'll never go back there again. And uh, those places were bad. What else is happening? Not a lot. It's cold. It's been miserable. Rain. Just cold. And uh, solar's going good finally today. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I don't know if I'm going to see you all again or not. So I have, I have absolutely no idea, but I know for sure I am not going to be making any videos for a while, if at all. So in that case, I love y'all. So the Lord has my days and always has got your days too. And so if you ever do anything that you think is important in your life and this will this will hit home when you get older, where are you going to end up? So, as an old saying goes, every man who's been in the foxhole under fire meets Jesus. And I did meet him. I met him, literally. And I changed my life, hopefully for the better. And I was a very bad person. Everybody's bad, you know, in one, one way or another. We're, we're, all, we're all screwed up. But at least I know that I'm forgiven for the bad things that I did. <coughs> the... I was going to make this video earlier, but I lost my tripod, and then I found it again this morning, right where I right where I left it. So we'll we'll get this over with. Uh, a lot of people talk about putting mesh on here. I could not source any that it it was quite stiff, and I don't I don't believe it it would have worked. But this is what I got. This is what I did. I guess this is the end of it for those of you that are doing the solar gig. God bless you. I think you might might end up needing it. Anyway, nice interacting with everybody. And this uh, subscriber thing, I'm not really sure what that is. I think people just watch your videos. <clears throat> but thank you. And thank you for taking time out of your life to watch these. I appreciate it. And I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely hope that it helps. So I don't want it to be for naught. Anyway, people, goodbye.